In 68, my father was called to the door and shot down like a darn mad dog. That's the voice of Frank Eaton, and that's the beginning of the story of how he became known as Pistol Pete. Frank Eaton was born on October 26, 1860 in Hartford, Connecticut, but at an early age, his family moved west. Why, well, my parents came to Osage County, Kansas, at uh, Carbondale, south of Lawrence, southeast of Lawrence, in 1867. It was shortly after moving to Kansas that Eaton's father was shot and killed. Eaton's father had sided with the North in the Civil War. In 68, my father was called to the door and shot down like a darn mad dog by a bunch of, of well, uh, by a bunch of Missouri jib men that had been on the other side of the fence in the war. And there were six of them that killed him. There were six men killed him. Eaton explained what happened next. But after the death of my father, there was a man there by the name of Moses Beeman, a friend of father. He came over there and he put his hand on top of my head and he says, May an old man's curse rest on you the longest day you live if you don't find and shoot the man that murdered your father. Eaton was only eight years old at the time. Well, I was just a kid of a boy and I thought I had it to do. And he came over with a pair of old dragoon cap and ball pistols and learned me how to use them. That's how I got my name of Pistol Pete. I learned how to use them guns. I can use them yet better than any man in the state, I think. He began practicing with the pistols, and by the age of 15, he went to Fort Gibson to learn more about handling guns from the Army troopers stationed there. At 17, he was appointed a deputy U.S. Marshal by Judge Isaac Parker. It was then that he began tracking down his father's killers. I Amen. saw every one of them. I only stayed to one man's funeral, and another man killed him. That is at Buckhart, Douglas County, Missouri. Mm -hmm. Frank Eaton carried loaded guns and was either a marshal or a deputy sheriff until late in his long life. He was said to still be fast on the draw well into his 90s. He died in 1958 at the age of 97. He had been married twice, had nine children, 31 grandchildren, and three great-grandchildren. After seeing Eaton ride a horse in the 1923 Armistice Day Parade in Stillwater, a group of Oklahoma A&M college students decided that Eaton, as Pistol Pete, would be a more suitable mascot than their mascot at the time, a tiger. They felt that Pistol Pete represented the Old West and the spirit of Oklahoma. However, it was not until 1958 that Pistol Pete was adopted as OSU's mascot. The familiar caricature of Pistol Pete was officially sanctioned in 1984 by Oklahoma State University as their licensed symbol.